Tainted Grail Conquest is the latest in Slay the Spire Likes. It is a roguelike deck builder and an RPG. At first glance, if you watch the trailers, it kind of has that classic ARPG look. In playing, it does kind of have that ARPG style, but the combat functions a bit more like those classic JRPG encounters where you're running along and there's an enemy nearby or whatever, and you get too close and you aggro, and then, -da 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 -da, and then the song starts playing, the fight music and everything kicks in, and the next thing you know, you're in a battle. But your attacks are not menu driven, they're all cards. It plays like a like a Slay the Spire. It plays like a Last Evil, which is an amazing game. Fuck you guys. It plays like Monster Train. <laughs> Monster Train is a little bit different, though, in terms of, like, uh, setup and all that stuff. Most of these games are actually a little bit different. There's tons and tons and tons and tons of deck builder roguelikes. Uh, so what makes this one different from the rest? Well, it's new. <laughs> and that's what we do here. We try to look at new games, unless we don't, in which case uh, that rule doesn't apply. Um, but no, it does have this, like, you know, you have a little camp here that uh, when you first start out, I have, uh, I think, two guys unlocked. The, can the, the, the candlestick maker and the, uh, who else do I have unlocked? And somebody else. Um, you talk to them, uh, candle maker. Oh, blacksmith, that's right. So you can buy and improve work. Oh, that's oh god, god, the number one thing really that sets it apart. It's not just that it's new, it's that it's fucking voiced, like a lot of voice, and it's good voice. Like the voice actors they got to play some of these parts, they just read things out. Like I feel like I'm playing it through a D and D campaign, um, which to me feels way more immersive than any of the other deck builders that I've played. So first off, uh, a worm candle, a word weird candle. It's pronounced weird, okay? Which makes some of these things hilarious. The weird forest, the weird spells, the, we <laughs> the weirdness. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> so uh, I could buy a weird candle if I if I would like, um, and that I already have a handful, I believe. Um, let's see, Tyler, you earn Tyler by walking, burning word candles. Uh, let's see, currency used to buy permanent upgrades. The candlestick maker. That's right. I need twenty-five to get that. Which we'll, we'll get that. That's the next one. Um, the weird candles help uh, basically push back the weird. I keep calling them word. Uh, the weird candles will push back the weirdness, um, which you'll see once we leave this area. Oh, so that was Miles was healing. Increase the healing power of milestones. Currently, you'll heal for five HP. Miles was damage boost. Increased uh, bone damage bonus available at milestones. Uh, currently, twenty percent for the next battle. Okay, we're not going to use any of these things. I kind of want to have the. Yeah, let me see. Uh, I kind of want to get the initial weird can weird candle count up. It's currently five. Um, add one, six. Oh god, just six. Ah, oh, whatever. It's a permanent upgrade. Um, so this is this is the uh, the the like in the rogue uh, rogue like right there. It basically is just a way of, uh, of uh, giving you permanent upgrades that allow you to further um, uh, progress. Oh, hold on a second. I'll try not to talk during some of the speaking parts because I want you guys to get that experience, right? I'm not going to skip through it or anything like that. I actually have not skipped through anything so far in terms of, like, you know, uh, story stuff. Um, and it's probably because, you know, like, think like the first time you play, like, uh, 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 um, uh, mountain, oh, fuck, a uh, train, monster train. Uh, first time you play monster train, you know, there are so many different variations of things that you could encounters you could come across and you read through all of them and everything the first time and the second time you're kind of like, oh, okay, I was going to skip it. I have not had a duplicate yet. I've not been playing a long time, but I've not had a duplicate yet. Uh, and all the stories are very well voiced that I'm just kind of like, whoa, like I'm just, I'm just feeling I'm in it. Let me see. So buy rune stones. Rune stones are upgrades. Think of like uh, gems that you could slot and they give you special uh, perks and bonuses depending on where you slot them. Um, similar to other uh, RPGs. And so you cracked Ethel, you cracked Stan, cracked her. So you can see like this one here in weapon slot in the first round of combat increase your damage by 50%. Ooh. In armor slot, the first turn of combat gain plus 75 armor. Wow, that's kind of cool actually. <laughs> uh, armor it decreases the damage coming in by uh it's like X, I think it's like 1% per armor or something. I can't remember. That's probably way off, but um but just take that as yeah, that's that's exactly what it is. Once you get a handful of uh, of um, like 
uh, runes, you can buy them to make to increase the rarity of your runes, which is pretty dope. So let's see. Uh, crack stand, see what it does. So we're gonna do increase armor by 10. Weapon slight, each card play, increase your damage by of this turn. See, reduce armor of all enemies by 10. Uh, and then, and you see, okay. Increase a max HP by 30. That's pretty good. And weapon slot. This one will increase the damage by 50%. I kind of like that one. Weapon slot that one. And then in your turn, deal one hit. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. I love this one. Just because you have... A oh, actually, you know what? Uh, I'm playing on a class I haven't played before. Hmm. Upgrade blacksmith abilities. I need... What do I need for this? Runestone dust. Every time you merge runestones, you generate... Oh, I don't, well, I've not done that very much. So I guess, yeah, I can't afford to do anything uh, that cool. But yeah, so I'm playing I'm playing a new uh, a class here. So we're going to see what this is when we get out there. But um, let's go ahead and hit... Uh, I, and then we could go through we could see hideous bouquet please i beg you now take this bouquet when you meet her the love of my life oh that's right yes we have to find this this is from a previous playthrough uh you still get to keep it so you can basically give it to whoever you have it's basically made out of hands it's or something this guy this florist some of this shit is creepy um which just makes it that much cooler <laughs> it's seriously like a creepy pasta version of slay the spire <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's put this thing in uh, first damage. Boom. And then this right here. Cool. Now we're going to do damage uh, on the in. X bonus damage on the in and on the out of a turn. We're going to do five damage to all enemies. Awesome. Look at our deck here. You can see we have a handful of spells. Oh, I haven't actually looked at any of these. This is, again, this is a new class for me. Uh, let me see. Activate a minion ability. Activate a minion. Create 10 barriers. 1, 1, 0. Uh, promotion. Promote a minion. Ooh, cool. We're going to learn this one together. Sigil. Uh, increase minion stands up 50%. Here we go, summon Golem. This guy basically absorbs uh, hits for you, which is kind of cool. Abomination, this one does uh, AoE damage. Yeah, AoE damage. Uh, and then the Fey does what? Weakens enemies and grants ultimate charges to its man ma manager. His <laughs> manager. Uh, and the Worm, this one reduces in and increases the damage dealt or received. So it attacks random enemies and reduces the armor. Sweet. Sweet. Let's go get in. Wrong way. Uh, <laughs> let's go out the yeah this one here. And then we're in the weirdness. Pop a candle. Now the weirdness will do interesting things during an actual encounter, like summon cards and populate your hand with random cards and such. So you can choose where you want to go. Let's take a look at the map here. Oops, uh, map. You can see that there's a number of encounters here. There's a boss right here, uh, and then there's when you get, as you get close, you'll see the unveil that there's NPCs that you can't interact with, and they you know give you things to do on your mission. Um, that door is closed now. Yeah, that door is closed now. So we're basically out here by ourselves. So let's do it. Now my weird candle, <clears throat> my weird candle has. Um, but it's the minions are the extension of all moon ring classes. Each one does something different. So be sure to be read the descriptions. Yeah, okay, okay. We got the column down. Uh, so the weird candle has charges. You can see that as one, two, this is not quite full on the second one. There are cards that synergize with this. So if you have a card that says, I had a card that uh, did X number of hits depending on how many charges you had. So if you had a fully charged weird candle, which is like, I think, two fresh candles, or like one, two, one, uh, from zero will probably fill it up, uh, then it would do five hits. Um, my last run, I wish I would record recorded it because my last run was like really, really good. I was wrecking things and I just caught myself. I just basically, they, they continued to chip away at my health. The health is a regen after every fight or anything like that. Uh, and I ended up, um, ended up losing it. So, uh, but man, it was such a good run. Now let's take a look at the cards. So this guy, he's got, he's got a little thing above his head. It says right here, enemies preparing for special attack. So yeah, he's going to do something after two turns. By the way, these guys are creepy looking. Creepy face of Marilyn Manson face. Really weird looking. Uh, the character design, or the, the, the models they use for these things are really, really, really good. So you have a number of different ways you can approach this fight here if you wanna, you know, float out here, if you wanna get close. I kinda like this view. This is your standard, you know, type view. Um, Standard angle like last evil, you know good shot of the butt and then a good shot of the enemies get a little bit of everything Let's see uh, Abomination so summon abomination. We're not gonna summon anything else ritual activate uh, a minion. Let me see Activate a minion again. Hmm promote a minion. So let's see raise the level of your minion. Let's do that activate a minion ability Returns okay, so let's see activate your uh, minion to perform an action So it'll activate probably this thing it tends to heal let me see. After every received hit, damage is somewhere every level. Plus 10 max, we can heal. Okay, cool. Redirects. Yeah. Damage from A to A's to... Uh, gets interrupted by stun. Okay. 
Okay, we have to do damage. Like damage, 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 damage. So because this guy is gonna do something, and you know, it's, I've I've killed this guy so many times before he's activated. I've actually had no idea what his attack is. All right, so act as promote the minion. Oh, he gets bigger. Nice. He's gonna heal for more. Look at that. Um, let me see. Can I summon another? Summon another guy. Let me summon this dude here. There we go. He's gonna do damage. Activate a minion ability. Let me see if this works. Yep, just does damage. Sweet. Cool. Alright, I'm getting the hang of it. There are like eight different classes too, by the way, so there's lots of opportunity here to uh, try different builds and just find something you really like, but they're unlocked through gameplay. So you start off with a weird hunter. By the way, look, Tainted Forest, deal one hit for 7-Eleven. I have a candle. If I didn't have a candle, it would more than likely be some trash thing that says if I don't, if I, if I play it, it makes them super strong. If I don't, if I don't play it, then I'm gonna do damage to myself, kind of thing, right? So let's see. Um, and next, I'm gonna worm, and then hit this. We'll do a, deal a hit here. Do I have an activation? I do. So let's go and act some of the worm. Now I have a little army. That's pretty sick. This guy's gonna do what? Performance. Oh, and with a debuff. Cool. Let's activate his ability because he'll activate the debuff as well. There we go. One, two. We might be able to kill him before it's over here. Now, oh, one more thing. Uh, there is a chargeable ultimate. You, I mentioned that earlier. Some other car was like charged your ultimate summon or something. It's right down here. Uh, every summoner, every character has its own or class has its own. And this one is, let me see. The ultimate ability promote, select a minion, charging, activate a minion, uh, promote, raise the limit. Okay, so this one is, uh, can I, I can't use this one yet. Yeah, I can't use it yet. So once per round. Uh, I'll have to wait till the thing gets uh, charged up before I can use it and see. But it does say, see, charging, activate a minion, and ultimate ability, promote, select a minion. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Wow, this is a way different way of playing. So this guy's going to do a 10 all here, uh, but he's going to die as so long as I could get a hit off here, which looks like it's probably going to happen right here. So let's see, summon you, or activate you. One, two, done. I'll never find out what that guy does for an attack. <laughs> so I got some wealth. Wealth is the currency. I like gold and whatnot. And now I also, because I leveled, I get to pick another card. So let's see. Um, uncontrolled development. Promote a random minion and activate it. Uh, promote and activate all minions. Oh, sick. That's a good one. I think. I don't know. It's my first time playing this class. Uh, focus energy. You only have one minion alive. Promote it to the start of each at the start of each turn. Oh, okay. Uh, furious anger. Increase the damage of all minions by 10%. Uh, each turn, gain one ultimate charge. Let's do that because I want to see this ultimate in action. Plus, the, the ultimate can also uh, promote your your minions. So let's go. By the way, thank you so much, Corey, for this one. He knew he knew it would be something I would like. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That's legendary encounter. We're not going to do that today. Uh, what do we have here? Pack of enemies, and also an NPC in here too. See how it's revealed? So, slide in here before a candle burns out. We can utilize some of it. Tainted candle, boom! Gives us what? Reduce armor of all enemies by 10 for this turn! If not played, next turn, uh, draw two cards less. So we're gonna play it. That's what it's telling me. We're gonna have to play it. Alright, so we have damage coming in from this guy here. Or this young lad, lady. Um, but it's gonna be redirected to this guy, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, we could play... Ooh, let's summon a Fey. Let's promote the Fey. Yeah, summon Fey. Promote Fey. See what that does. Promoted. Get bigger. Got bigger. Let's see, and then we're gonna reduce... And there we go. And then we activate the minion ability, see what he does. So he's gonna buff. Oh, he gave me, oh nice, so he gave me now this, and so, which means I could probably use that. Um, oh, not yet, yeah, I can, yeah, I can, so I could use this, and so, let me see. Right now, I just activated minion, so I could do that again, and it would give me back some more here. <laughs> but we're not gonna do that yet, we don't need any of that, just, uh, so soon, let's go into space and go. Uh, now, your default for next turn in this game is T. I've actually rebound some of the keys to play a little bit more like your traditional, um, uh, deck builder, which is space for the next turn. It just makes it easier to play with one hand. You know, you can just kind of sit there and, just, and then just bind space to like one of your keys and just go. Um, let me see. You can also play a controller if you want, which is kind of wonky, I feel like. Let me see. Uh, I got the controller turn on. Oh, maybe not. I guess it's fine. Let me see. Increase minion damage by 50%. Well, no one's doing damage, so we'll leave that alone. Activate minion's ability. Uh, let's go and do that because it's going to give me. There we go. Activate. So now, ooh, 
Alright, getting up there. Let me see. Uh, we have, uh, that dude's gonna activate before we can do this. Activate all minions. Oh, I can act. I can do that, huh? He's, one's gonna buff. Let me see. Yeah. Promoted. Activate. And that should fill up my charge meter here. Okay. I don't have any damage dealing minions, so this is gonna be a problem. Let me see. So, I, order your minion to perform an action. So, let's see. Hold on a second. What is this? This is level 3, right? Every next level, one ultimate charge activation. Okay. Just promote him straight up. Dang! Whoa, promote him three times! Oh, that's right. There's a 3x multiplier there. Boy, look at my fey. Can I get around and look at the front? No, I can't. I can't. I can look at the front. Okay. Um, dang. Let's zoom out a little bit. My boy's getting big. Looks like Declan, swear to God, look at this lanky. Just lanky. <laughs> Just get rid of the controller. Uh, a grave. Yeah, I don't, I don't explain. I'm not gonna explain um, the basics of a deck builder to you guys. I think, you, for the most part, you guys have been here long enough. You guys have been around the video games long enough. You guys know what's up. Abomination, here we go. This guy's gonna do AoE damage for us. We're gonna put the guy out there. Uh, and then what we're gonna do just to clean up this dude here is gonna do nine damage. We're gonna go and activate this guy here. No, first, 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 first. Let's go and promote him here. Remote. Ooh, hold on. We have damage coming from everybody though. Hmm. A barrier might be wiser, but let's go and do this first. There we go. That takes care of the ad. And then we'll put the barrier on. On me, of course. Give me 10 extra health. So what is he gonna do? Oh, he just does an AoE just a blow. Oh, and he just dies. Oh, he turns oh he turns into a maggot. Ooh, interesting. Let's see, uh reduces the armor. Okay, sure. Um, and I guess he's gonna just continue to get stronger or something like that until he comes back and um, gets big again. Hmm. Let's go and put the worm out here, and then we will increase the minions' damage to fifty percent. See, I have one more charge here. Yeah, cool. We'll do this. Now, can I tell him who to attack? Or does he just kind of attack? Okay, he just kind of attacks. I guess I can't. Oh. We just kind of did one two there. Let me see. He um, is he passive each hit and reduces armor by two and leaves a hunter mark. Six hunter marks make enemies vulnerable. It's four for the weird uh, we weird hunter by the way. Um, so you can see those marks right here. Uh, you have to you have to time this pretty well. You know like. You have to make sure that your attacks are going to do damage. Uh, your attacks are going to come in while you still have more energy to uh, activate another attack. So in this case, um, there's one, so I have to wait until I had five more hits on these guys, and then I could then they're vulnerable. When they're vulnerable, they take 100% extra damage. Oops, he has another one. Oh, that does activate a hunter's mark though. Looks like probably just minions. Probably just the minions. Uh, okay, we have extra. That's no problem. Uh, oh, I don't have a tentacle, bro. Hmm, is that a tentacle, bro? What is this guy? Abomination. Oh, tentacle. oh tell you. Okay, I guess it is. I guess he, uh, sure. Let me see. Activation. Activate minion ability. Promote. Tainted. What is this? Reduce armor of all enemies by 10 for the next turn. Yeah, we'll do that. Just get that out of my hand. Activate. Activate. Very cool. I like this. So I got two, two things here. I can have a 1x. So let's go and activate a minion. Let's activate you. That'll give me another one of these. Give me a three. Then we use this on you. Triple promote. Dang! <laughs> Dang, I had to zoom out. <laughs> a little bit of clutter going on. I wish the UI would scale back a little bit. Is there a way to do that, actually, I wonder? Hmm, I didn't look at that. Hut scale. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, let's scale that back just a wee bit. Yeah, maybe even more, actually. There we go. That helps a little. Um, let me see. I don't have old man eyes, man. I can see this stuff. <laughs> activate. So now let's activate this dude. He should do work. Um, or actually, no. We should technically activate this one. Um, we'll do with this first. Well, hold on. Let's promote. They can go big. Then we'll activate this. This will do a nice little sweep. Take care of that ad. Now we have a five damage coming out from me here. Because of my armor. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, six on this guy because of the uh, armor. And then, I mean, I've taken one damage. This is, I mean, they're done. Like, this is, this is it. This is activate this dude. Just finish it off. 19 damage. Dang, man, this is crazy. Okay, oh, we got another rune here. Uh, let's see, increase armor. We're just going to throw it down here for now. We're not going to swap anything out. 
I'm good with what I currently have. The more you play, the more of those slots you unlock, etc. Okay, so I have uh, my weird candles running out. Let's go ahead and pop one more. Just raise that up. Oh, Futhark. Here we go. Moment. I thought you might be my mother, finally returning. <laughs> Silly me. I haven't seen her for a while, but that's okay. I have my stones. Do you want some? Alright, so here's what we could take as. Yeah, take three random common stones, uh, take one specific common rune stone, or take one random rune stone. Let's take three, three random. Crack Gar, Calc, Ethel. So we don't have any duplicates, it looks like. We could go pop this open and see how it, uh... Let me see. Yeah. So we have an assortment, though. What's this one? Uh, armor 10. Each card played increases your damage by 5% this turn. Yeah, see, I'm not really doing a lot of damage myself, so maybe that doesn't... I don't know if that applies to my other, uh, my minions. Let me see. An armor heals for 5 HP after every combat 1. That's, uh, pretty cool, but it's only 5. I'll wait. Let's wait until I get these things unlocked so I can put some more cool stuff in there! And that's it. Let's go and keep moving. It's my dude. Another NPC here. What is this? A pack of enemies. And then a fortune seller. Ooh. I haven't seen that yet. Ooh. Okay, so the guy on the right is going to debuff me. Um, I can't remember what the debuff is. Does it tell you an intensive debuff? Uh, so it doesn't. Oh yeah, that's right. He adds useless cards to your deck. That's right. Dead weight cards. Um, so we're starting over here in terms of uh, <clears throat> build or uh, minions and whatnot, uh, which is fair. Promote and activate all minions. We gotta get some minions out though. So let's go and get some minions out. Boom. Get two of these bad boys out. Promote. Let's see, we have damage coming in. Um. We'll just promote for now. And then maybe activate him just because. There he goes. Yeah, heal. <laughs> There's nothing we can do yet, so. <laughs> Ooh, we've got to redirect. I took one damage. What is this one? Uh, do you one hit for 10 to 16? Ooh. Mmm. Be wise to drop this dude. Oh, come on. To drop this dude as quickly as possible, but my guys are not necessarily swinging on anything, so we're not going to be doing any damage. Um, let's go and just hit this guy then. Look at this card. Oh uh, man, I was playing this game last night, and this card had me freaked out. It's just so weird looking, and it keeps showing up in your deck because because of what this this guy threw it in there. It's just I don't know. There's something about this card that's just freaking me out, man. Like uh, uh, scary stories to tell in the dark kind of artwork, you know? Yeah. Yeah, hard pass. <laughs> Leave me alone. Let's summon this dude. Uh, and then we'll activate minion abilities. See if we can do something. Let me see. Oh, this guy should heal up too. We kind of need him to stay alive. But also debuff though. Let's do the debuff. Slap, slap. Boom, five damage across the board. Lots of, lots of reflection. I don't even know what's happening. There's so much damage going all over the place. But I know that my boy's going down. No! Uh, let's do this. Let's do... Let's activate barrier on him. We have... Oh, this guy's gonna do damage to everybody. Hmm. Might kill him. Barrier for you. Let me see. Activate a minion. We can activate you just to get some heals going. Good. Good, good, good. And then we will activate you. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I have... Let's get a Fey out. And then we're gonna activate you. And then he's gonna he's gonna give me the oh so close oh man I was hoping I get the three X I'm about to hold off then I'll get it in a minute. Chup -um, chup -um, chup -um, slap. All right now I have the three X now we're gonna upgrade this we lost one of our golems it's fine. <laughs> hey let's do it again hey all right yeah hey one more time. <laughs> Um, now, let's see, increases damage, uh, sure, and then let's activate and see what happens. Dang. How can she slap? <laughs> it just does so much. Oh, I forgot there's this other little dude chilling back there. I forgot about him. Damn, okay, yeah, he's gonna be a problem in a minute. Um, let's see, abomination, barrier, promotion, let's just keep on promoting this guy. Let's make them bigger and bigger. And then we will... Let me see, I got two and one. Let's see, activate a minion. Let's do this. Activate. Let's activate him again. Just trying to 
get him to do. There we go. Oh, so close. It's okay. The the five will do it. So let's go and put this on me, just to make sure nothing happens to me. And then the five. Bam. There it is. Ding again. Ding again. What do I got? I see. Sacrifice a minion. Stun all enemies. Promote all minions. Uh, revival. Activate a minion. Heal it by 50% of the HP. Let's do this. Promote all minions. I want to, I want to see how far we can promote these things. This is crazy. This place is completely different from the weird hunter, by the way. The main the one you start off with. Good like day, wildly stranger. different. Are you in need of some guidance? Mm-hmm. I ran into her before she had a whole story she told me, so it's cool that they don't uh uh drown you in in voiceover the second and third time. Um, so here we go. Tome of Knowledge. Draw one card. It's a consumable you could play in combat, just like you could play a health potion or something if you need it. Uh, you see, offer 10 HP, gain one energy. Uh, that's mid game. Let's see, weirdness mushroom. Nobody knows what will happen after eating one. Okay, blood candle. Sacrifice 10% of your max HP. Light a weird candle. This sounds interesting. Nobody knows what happens when you eat one. Well, guess what? I'm going to eat one. Thank you, friend. So we have lots of characters around here. The florist! That guy's weird. Uh, <laughs> the Pied Piper, that's a new one for me. Let's go over here. Oh, I didn't put my thing in the combat slot. Dang! Oh, it already shows up. Sweet. So the first thing we should do is eat one. Bonus energy! 4-3. Awesome to see. Reduce armor all enemies by 25. If not, draw one card and increase its cost by one. Oh, gross. Let's go ahead and reduce all their armor. That means I'm just going to do straight up more damage. Let me see. Decrease by 25 for one turn. Um, let's get out some minions then if we can. Oh, do I even have, uh, I don't have a golem? But is it? Oh, no. Man, that sucks. All right. So let's get. Hmm. wonder if we stack promotions on this one dude here. Right. One, one promotion. Two promotions. And then we can activate him or something. Nah, let's get a second one out. Then we'll promote. Promote one. And then we'll activate. You know, just activate him for sure. We, we, we heal me. We can heal me. You can heal me, guy? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I gotta pay attention to the enemies too, by the way. So uh, we have this guy's enemy deliver more hits each turn uh, unless it's stunned. So now he's at two. Uh, the range red priest enemy can create berries for its allies and then of course this guy deformed peasant which is so weird looking if I get in there and take a closer look just look at that brain hanging out the top it's crazy it just head butts you it's crazy um and it just does damage so there's a lot of damage coming in here um so it's good thing I have both my golems out really the fey let's go ahead and get the fey out now this is cheap and we'll just start getting uh nobody's doing sweeping damage here so we just gotta hope they don't target him uh and then we're going to um uh, get the worm out too and the activated minion ability um who probably you because you guys got, look, again we're gonna need these guys long term lots of reflect lots of reflect we are reflecting. We are reflecting. This guy's now doing three damage. I don't have a stun, so this is that's going to be a problem here soon. Uh, promote and activate all minions. That's a sick one. We should probably just do that. Right now. Now activate. Good. Heal. You two. Heal yourself. Now I got my three X so I can heal. I can, I can upgrade these guys. Um, hold on. Let's take a look at this. Let's see every mountain next okay plus heal value okay I guess I could just keep making these guys stronger and stronger and just hope we can like live through it because the damage this guy's putting out is gonna be insane here in another couple turns um so let's do this let's go and heal this guy or promote this guy three times now he's huge and we're gonna activate his ability which is gonna give him fat heals there we go Holy promotion, promote all minions. I mean, I feel like we should just play that. Like, why are we messing around? I'm, I'm losing health here, though. So I'm not... This, but These guys aren't helping me. <laughs> I'm losing health here, guys. Let me see. Let's go ahead and activate this. Start 25 HP to me, to me. There we go. Um, maybe I should go ahead and promote... Let me do this. Put a border... A border. B b b barrier on myself. And then we're going to promote all minions. 
There we go. Everybody's promoted. Everyone's happy. Now we activate this guy. Get some more. There we go. He's got 20 heal coming his way. He just took 30 damage. 20 heal going in. Oh, he took a lot more damage. Oh, dang! This guy's hitting for five, man. I just don't have a stun. Reduces the damage of all units 20% this turn. Yes. I'm gonna need that now. That guy's just gonna wipe me here. Abomination. Oh, I'm really in a summoning mood right now. Increase minions damage by... Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That might be good. Play for you. Okay. Need more damage. Promote. I won't be able to protect myself. Five hits coming in. This guy's gonna get wiped. Let's see. He's gonna... Okay, okay, you, you, you. Let's take a risk. Promote you. Promote him again. And we're gonna activate, and he's gonna just do some serious work here. One, two, good. That gets rid of that buff, whatever that buff was gonna be. Now we're gonna take a lot of damage here. Yeah. Woo, man. Okay. Boy, activate a minion, please. He's looking right at him, so this has got to be it, right? So, 35. Let's see, he does how much damage per swing here? Damage 10, increased by 5. So he's at four, 2 times 14 to 22. 2 attacks 14 to 22. That's not a guaranteed anything, right? So, I think we should activate and then activate again. And then barrier. We should barrier myself. That's a must. Promote and activate. I have 2. Uh, I, no, I can do three, actually. So, here we go. Promote. There we go. And then we'll... Let's see. Uh, we'll activate. Please. Okay, that one's done. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. We got him. Oh, man. Woo! Boy, it gets dicey. It gets dicey. When I first started playing, I was not making it past the first couple of encounters. It was crazy. As you walk carefully in the woods... A quick, lithe creature runs towards you. It takes you a moment to realize it's a human. He brandishes a short wooden stick, screaming and shouting in despair. My children! I've seen what you've done to my children! Mm. Barbarian! Sacrilegious scum! You shouldn't have done that. What will I do without them? You watch him. Confused. He looks malnourished, as if he's had nothing to eat since he entered the weirdness. And you're sure that was a long, long time ago. I failed them. I couldn't protect them. I'm not worthy of it anymore. Oh, that's it. Um, Turns out the stick oh. he tried to beat you with was an instrument. A flute. He sniffles. The flute is a strange one. Mysterious markings and blood cover its surface. Take it! It's your duty now! Hmm. You're completely insane. You notice his tears, he covers his face and flees into the forest. Um... So there's a different way. There's different ways to handle that. We can actually get trust, like actually generate trust um, from these guys, which I assume would make the later encounters a little bit more um, uh, sane. Maybe I got one tallow from running around with a, with a. Uh, that's the currency I was telling you about. You accumulate just from running around. There's also this stone here. I'm glad we came across this milestone here. So this says right here: boost the milestones range. Uh, I see banished weirdness uh, around this milestone, or extinguish this milestone, lose the milestone, receive a weird candle. Ask for a blessing, lose the milestone, receive a random bonus, heal, boost damage. Let's go and ask for a blessing. Let's see, new status, milestones, blessing, armor increase in the next combat encounter. Cool. Pack of enemies. Uh oh, activate again. There's also something over here. Okay, let's see if we can slide by. Yoink! There's somebody back here. What is this? Erotic seamstress. Seamstress. <laughs> Erratic seamstress. <laughs> let's see. Alright, so here we go. Activate you. Then let's see. What is this? Uh, reduce damage to all enemies. Cool. 50%. And then we're going to promote you. We got damage coming in, but it's like 
It's okay. It's like minimal damage here. Activate you again. There you go. Give me some of that. What is this guy? Oh, this is, uh, oh, spawn totems. That's right. That's right. Okay. Increase enemy damage. Okay. No one's doing damage. Um, another column. Activate minion's ability. Okay. Cannot re Okay. So we're just going to activate this now. And then what we're going to do. Oh, God. It's not enough. Um, okay. So no, we're supposed to play this for now. Just to give me a little bit more, or a lot more, <laughs> durability. Okay, there's a totem. It's got a healing totem. Okay, so let's see. Remove all minions to, uh, let's see, activate a minion ability, activate a minion, okay, worm. Hmm, let's throw the worm down. No, I can't do both, but, but I can throw the worm down and upgrade them right away. Or, or maybe I should invest in my future. Triple that guy. Then let's do it again. Another promotion. Then we're going to activate him. He's gonna give me some more. And then we activate him again. And then we're gonna throw this on here. Come on. Come on. Well, I guess we're gonna play one, once per turn. Oh yeah, once per turn. That's once per round, that's right. Maybe we should save it for this. I kind of want to invest in this and see what happens, but just keep on buffing this dude. Now he's nine. Let's see, promote and activate all minions. We should do that again. Just invest in these two guys. Then we'll bring out somebody else who will do work. Now 3x again. Now I don't want to activate anybody because that's just a waste. Yeah, it's just a waste of his ability, so it doesn't really matter if we played it or not. More totems. It's okay. We'll get. We'll get. When we get an abomination, then we'll start. Start doing work here. Increase damage. See, promote a minion again. Oh wait, hold on. Let's go and do this. Oh, it doesn't get any bigger than that. <laughs> That's a damn shame. <laughs> Let's see, promote all minions. Then we'll activate you again. Just gonna fill me up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, where is our god damn it, where is <laughs> let's keep on just throw some barriers on just because the barriers on my boy over here. Uh let's uh activate you. I'm just gonna make these guys Whoa, this is crazy. And then we're activating you here. He's gonna heal himself basically to full. Uh we could do this. Act my uh, activate that. Cool. Wow, man, this 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 particular character scales really well. Like this class scales really well. So we'll get him out there. Where's he at? Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> Little worm. Uh, increase the damage. It's not gonna help much. It activate minion ability. Also not gonna help much. Let's go ahead and do this first. Good. And now activate the damage for you. Then we're gonna activate you. Bam, bam. Yeah, now we're gonna start cleaving these guys. Okay. There's my abomination. Damn it, get out there. Okay, and then we can't do all promotes. Barrier. Hmm. Damage is coming in pretty rough here. Let me see. Promote minion. Let's get this guy promoted. I'm gonna activate him now. Just do a little sweep, take care of some of these totems. Ooh, so close. Let's see, stun a random enemy. Uh, if not, play gain five barrier. Cool, we'll keep that one. Let me see. Promote and activate all minions. Let's do it. Oh, I should have played. I should have played this first. That was a mistake. Here we go. I'm going to put this here. We'll okay, activate him. That's it. Okay. Done. And level five. And level five. New card at the start of each turn. The minion heals 50% of missing HP. Ooh, cool. Activate one minion two times. Sacrifice. Whoa. Okay. Reduce the enemy's armor by 50 for two turns. That's pretty good. Let's accept that. See, uncontrollable growth. 
Increase the max HP of all minions by 10%. Uh, every time a minion is promoted, increase your damage by 3%. And start of every combat, start every combat with 20 barrier. Ooh, that's a good one for long term. Yeah. Although the damage by 3% is pretty good too. Especially because we can scale it so quickly. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so, oh, let's talk to this person. The first thing you notice is a long veil made of rags, leaves, and scraps of fur held together with a snow-white thread. Then you notice a woman with a gaunt face and graying hair. She's busy sewing more scraps of random material to the end of the veil. Her fingers flash so fast you can barely see them. When she stops sewing and raises her eyes to meet your gaze, a chilling truth is revealed. The weirdness transformed the tips of her fingers into long, sharp needles. Do you need any sewing? I can take care of garments, body or soul. They're all the same anyway. Very cool. Ask her to sew your body. Heal a bit of your HP. I need that. You'll get eight health. Hmm. The pain is brief and not as bad as you imagined it would be. The body under the stitches heals before your eyes. It seems that in the weirdness, her talent for sewing made her able to mend more than just fabric. All right, so I got some health. Eight health. Me? Oh, there's nothing to say, really. I'm Neith, a seamstress. In my past life, I used to make gowns, cloaks, and garments, mostly for women in noble knights. Now I've been... improved. She looks briefly at her needle-like fingers. And after that, my clientele changed. Currently, I'm making sheets for my protector. And let all mother be my witness. She's a demanding customer. Trust increase. That's what we're looking for right there. She so... Smiles mysteriously. Oh, oh, more. Well, you probably wouldn't like her very much, but she keeps me safe. She's very protective, but it seems she's about to go into labor soon. She forgot to bring me food and kept pushing me to sew more and more. I'm exhausted, to be honest. Oh, sweet. Oh, she's a recruiter. She's awesome. surprised by your offer. Oh, you'll have to wait a moment. I have a commission to finish first. You stand and watch as she finishes the long veil. The last piece she adds is the fur of a feral cat, still dripping with blood. I love it. It's so good. The seamstress then folds the veil into a neat square and places it on the rock. Yeah, I think she'll like it. She shudders. I really hope she does. Now, let's go and see this village of yours. Boom! Awesome seamstress! Okay, so the last thing, whoa, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to go fight the golem to end this episode here. Uh, it's not going to be very successful, but we're going to try it anyways. So, let's go find him. First, actually, we're going to try to kind of skirt around this. We have hunting grounds here. Oh, that's right, there's a thing here. The local hunters call this ancient skull the Stag Father and lay charms and offerings around it. The legends say the Stag Father takes the dreamers away to join him on a great hunt. So this would be good to do if I was going to play longer, but I already know that we're going to wrap this here. So now I'm going to try to make my way to... Ooh, oh gosh, okay. Let's go and get this, uh, this one up here. Make my way to the Golem, which I believe is over here. Rack up some of that tallow. Which seller doesn't have anything to help me right now. So the navigation could be a little bit clunky. Like like this. I feel like I could walk through this, but I get it. I get it. They gotta kind of corral me a little bit. And let's do it! Legendary encounter! You can also get legendary cards, by the way, which I've not seen one of in this run, but they are pretty sick. Alright, so this guy's rough. If I stun him, which I can't do, uh, he'll actually spawn two more dudes who will do attacks on his behalf. So he's going for 18 to 25, so which means he's probably going to kill me right off the bat. Oh, no, never mind. I forgot I have my boy! Let's see. Uh, I think what first we should do is probably promote the hell out of this guy. Promote and activate all minions. Uh, what is this one? Uh, increase damage of all enemies by 50% for two turns. Come on. 
Really? That's what you're gonna do to me right now? I don't have any barriers up. Great. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Let's get you out. And then we're gonna uh, activate just to get like one to three damage out. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we only have 996 more to go. We'll be fine. Look at that one, yay! Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a Fey, yeah, let's get a Fey out. Here we go, Gambler, this only shows up on, in, in the Legendary Fights. Um, or specifically this one, the Awakened Golem. Uh, it says, gain one block and one energy, draw up one card, lose 10 armor until the end of combat. I'll go ahead and do that. My armor doesn't matter much, I don't think. So here we go, so I got one energy, one card, uh, so I could play, let me see, promote a minion. We should probably promote the Fey. Oh, actually no, we should probably actually play a barrier card on me because that will get absorbed first I think and then we're activate minion ability you which will give me a little bit more and then we'll get the rest on the next turn then we'll start the, the cycle of promotions and whatnot oh I'm about to lose that golem here um let me see lose 10 armor in the combat let's go play that again okay so now I have four four energy bottom right corner here I could play this guy, which is going to save me some hassle here. I could play a barrier on him, just to help him out some. Um, see, promote a minion. Let's go ahead and promote you, so we can start this cycle again. Um, a little overkill activating him right now for that. I think we should play this. Then we should activate him. There we go. That's the wiser move. Okay, yeah, he wiped him. <laughs> he wiped my dude. He's just gone. All right. Uh, so let's zoom out here a little bit. Promote a minion again. Let me see. Promote and activate all minions. Okay. Hmm. Let's promote him because he's going to keep me alive. And then we'll promote and activate everyone. That'll give me a little bit more here in the bank. Good, and we can actually just play this just to go ahead and maximize that again. No, 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 it's okay. We'll get him next turn, I think. Activate him. There you go. Oh, because now he's already summoned his boy here. Okay, reflect. Ooh, ooh, gosh. No, it still hurts, though. Uh, create 20 berry on all enemies or lose 25% of your current HP. Well, I'm already pretty low on health, so it's not really going to matter much. Let's go and play this card. Get one more energy. We get a worm out. There we go. Let's get that worm going here. We're going to go and place a barrier on me. Um, we'll place. Let me see. Uh, let's go ahead and put triple on this dude. And then we're going to activate you to give me more. And then reduce the enemy's armor by 50 for two turns. We do have damage coming in. That could be handy. This is a pain in the ass. This extra guy here. Like, seriously, pain in the ass. He has a lot of health. Let's go ahead and get this guy... Oh, man. Uh... One more. One freaking more. Two, ten, sixteen. He's not gonna do enough damage. Let's keep this guy healed. He's He's my lifeline, really. Oh, it's a good thing I did that. <laughs> All right, gain one block, one energy. Yeah, fucking armor, I don't care. <laughs> Promote all minions. Okay, well first, first, let's activate. Let's raise him up here. This is probably going to be a waste, probably a huge waste doing that, but I'm doing it anyways. Um, Promote you. Wait, hold on. Four, one, two, three, four. Let me see. I could, I could I could do a lot here, actually. Increases minion damage by 50%. Uh, that might be handy, but no one's gonna do. Where's this guy aiming? Where's he? Where's he? Worm, what are you pointing at? 90% damage. Okay, barrier. This is really hard. Um, this guy is gonna be what kills me ultimately. I think. Let's put a barrier around you. 
question mark? God, his armor is so low. That's a waste. All right, let's just do activates and promotes. So we'll promote everybody. Um, let me see. We're going to activate you. Get a heal in. Uh, we're going to... Oh, shit. We should have promoted him again. Then we're going to activate him again. I did that kind of wrong, wrong order there. But still, 50, 49 health. It's pretty good. Right. <laughs> it's all about that. <sighs> so look at this. Boop. More card opportunities, more stuff, blah, blah, blah. So here we go. Snake Charmer, increase the number of hits the worms uh, of your worms by one. Vision, every turn after first activation of every fey, gain two additional cards at the cost reduced by one. Oh, that's pretty sick. Let's take that one. Oh, actually, they're both the, they're, they're just, you click on them, they can go away. So if they're just recruited three out of seven, that should be four out of seven now, because I just recruited the, um, hmm. And then this is kind of a wrap-up of everything you've done in BC area, NPC world, all that good stuff. Locations, discover, then you go start over. And here's the beginnings where you start. You start with 200 health, start with 20 max health, start with two healing potions. Oh, I should have used a healing potion. So dumb. Um, so dumb, but yeah, here we go. Here's all your characters. So I have a summoner. I have not activated anybody else. Apostate, uh, Sentinel, Zealot, Pathfinder, Necromancer, Blood Mage, Berserker, Summoner, and Weird Hunter. Uh, I was reading some of the Berserker cards. Pretty sick, actually. Um, passive skills. So start every combat with a summon golem. Start every combat with a summon abomination. Summon every combat with a summon worm. The golem seems to do really well. So you basically choose... Uh, I'm going to choose the worm just because. Um, you basically choose what, what your passive uh, is going to be for this run. And then you get in. And you are starting picking up where you left off. Now I have the candle maker. The blacksmith. And, um, maybe I did not get her. I couldn't tell you why. If I did not. Huh. Oh, here she is right here. Here she is. Here she is, a seamstress. And you can talk to her and she can give you buffs and all that stuff. You can pay for stuff before you head out of the village. So that's it. That's the game. It's dope. <laughs> it's pretty cool, man. Like, it's definitely really cool. Like, I love this vibe. I love this vibe of running around very, you know, RPG style. Um, the, the graphics are great, you know, the look when you're out there and the weird is weird. Uh, they do a good job with that. The way it impacts your gameplay uh, is pretty cool by summoning random cards. Um, and yeah, it's just, there's a lot of mechanics here that really, really work really well with this game, with, with this style of, uh, uh, of game. So, <sighs> I might have to play this game a little bit more, guys. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Mike BAK Phone. You can pick up Tainted Gradle right now. Tainted Grail Girl uh, for $19.99. A respectable price for a game of this, of this caliber. And that is all. Thanks for watching. I'll see you.